How's it everyone? I'm Simon J with Surf Trek Tonics. In this video expedition, we will examine The Expanse Season 5 Episode 4, Guagamela, when the Earth was attacked by stealth asteroids. For a brief overview, the year is 2255 and the solar system has been colonized by humans with a combined population of over 37 billion. The three major powers compete with one another for control over interplanetary resources. The United Nations of Earth and Luna, the Mars Congressional Republic, and the Outer Planetary Alliance also known as the Belters. Marcos Inros, leader of the militant Free Navy OPA faction, attacked the United Nations by throwing stealth rocks from the outer planets to strike Earth. But how big were the asteroids and how much damage did they cause? Rock number 9 was the first and largest asteroid thrown as a diversion, breaking apart from the Sun's gravitational pull, with fragments destroying a science station orbiting Venus. This caused some of Earth's asteroid spawning arrays to point towards the center of the solar system searching for more rogue asteroids. Using the scientist's dialogue for a baseline, Based on these readings, somewhere between 10 and 30 meters of diameter. The blast would be about 1 to 4 megatons. The first asteroid was 30 meters in size and would have released 2 megatons of kinetic energy equivalent to that of a conventional nuclear warhead. A iron nickel ore object 20 meters or less normally will burn up in the atmosphere, leaving the additional 8 to 10 meters to survive re entry descent. From this scale, every 4 meters of rock will release 1 megaton of energy upon impact, or 250 kilotons per meter. Additionally, the asteroids are covered with a stealth composite layer that appears to absorb around 5 meters of atmospheric heat friction, and possibly more, as this holographic display seems to indicate an energy field generated from the layer surrounding the rock. Twelve days later, the first asteroid impacts Earth, exploding off the west coast of Africa, near Liberia, generating a 250 kiloton shockwave. That would make this body around 20 meters with a stealth tech heat shield layer, resulting in a 1 to 2 meter impact, hitting the surface at a velocity of 30,000 kph. Over the next 15 hours, two more asteroids hit the Earth near Philadelphia and Southeast Asia. My estimation puts all eight rocks launched at Earth to be around 10 to 20 meters in size, making them relatively small asteroids that would normally burn up in the atmosphere without the protection of the stealth tech layers also making them likely to avoid detection by Earth satellite sensors. The Belter faction acquired the stealth tech from the Mars black market during the military cutbacks. This material is rare and expensive, so in order to cover eight rocks, they would need to be of a smaller size and composition. One of the asteroids is shown being launched from a Belter frigate, demonstrating the size relative to the ship to be around 15 to 20 meters in overall mass. At the end of episode 4, Naomi Nagato tells Marcus Inros he killed millions. If the other two asteroids were significantly larger, the death toll would have been hundreds of millions, if not a billion ruling out an extinction level magnitude sized asteroid as the episode does not reveal how powerful the other two collisions were. Out of the nine asteroids, three missed, three were destroyed, and three hit the Earth's surface. The Mars Parliament building was also destroyed 
and these attacks have enough gravity motivation to escalate into a full-scale inner solar war. The Expanse Season 1 and 4 is on Amazon Prime, with new Season 5 episodes streaming every Wednesday. I highly recommend the most realistic future science fiction series set in Frontier about mankind colonizing the solar system and beyond. Thanks for watching and hit subscribe for more sci-fi video expedition channel content. Have a good one. Peace.